going on guys? Dylan Hoy here, infielder for Marist College. Um, I'm happy to say that I'll be joining you guys this summer at Ocean State. And I just want to take you through what a day in the life is for a Division One baseball player today. So I'll be kind of explaining like, you know, what practice schedule is like, what my homework schedule is like, my eating habits. So looking forward to it and uh, I'll see you guys out there. So it's about 8.30 now. Um, woke up around like 6.20 and took a shower and, and got right to homework, you know? I feel like when I start the day off, do some homework, kind of gets things going, gets things kicked. Um, and it's good just to finish that stuff early. You know, once it, once it gets late in the day, you don't want to do homework, you don't want to do this. So it's just good to get that out of the way. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick tour of the room. So this is my room. We got a, uh, got a queen size bed, not bad. My bed's a good setup. We got a desk over here. You know, we got, we got two storages, you know, we put our clothes. We got this bad boy, it's a good amount of space. And unfortunately, since we can't get into the locker room this year, you know, I kind of use this for my locker. They just, Maris doesn't want us all going to the same place at one time, kind of limit that exposure. So we got two bathrooms in here, this is the first one. This is my bathroom. Got the sink over here. Our little kitchen. We don't have a stove, but you know, we make do. We got the George Foreman grill, air fryer. You know, we get after it. This is the other bathroom. Right in here. It's a good size. It's one of our pictures. We call him Lefty. Okay. You now he's a stud. He's a senior this year. This is his room. It's a pretty nice crib. Keeps it clean. It's not bad. And we got the little common area. Got a little TV going. Watch some. Uh, Walk some baseball games, basketball games, March Madness gets pretty hectic. We got a pretty nice view out here, you can't complain. See a few mountains. Get to see my car in the parking lot, make sure nobody's taking it. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for our setup. All right guys, so it's about like 8.45 now. Usually get a quick snack in. Um, we got some oatmeal, apple cinnamon, and then we got a banana and some grapes. Always gotta keep it healthy, keep it light. You know, we gotta be fast this year, explosive. So, you know, we gotta we gotta get that in there. He's got the oatmeal too, the apple cinnamon. He loves it. Let's Some go, water. Let's go. Yeah, it's our, that's our morning routine. We used to have eggs, but we don't have a stove. And we used to have, uh, we used to have like this right here that would make eggs, but it's no good anymore. Doesn't really do it, so. All right, guys, we'll catch you in a few. What's up, guys? It's about 9.20 now. Um, I have class around 11, so I'm going to get a quick workout in. And I usually try to do this every day. Um, it's more of like a full body explosive workout. Nothing crazy with like heavy weights or anything like that. Because for school, we usually have around three to four lifts per week where we really get after in the weight room. So in the morning times, it's kind of more like a, more like a stretching, yoga, and just quick burst workouts. So I'm going to take you through that now and uh, then get to class. So... So this workout that I do here is I use the band, put my hands in between them, and I usually go up and then to each side. I do that for about three sets, eight times each side, and it really works on my separation for when I throw and when I hit. I always want my hips to move first, so it just knows my separation from my top part of my body to my lower half. So we'll go right leg up first. And really try to feel that separation right there. Six. It's a really good stretch too. You really feel it. Just loosens your body up in the morning after sleeping for so long. Getting stiff.
This exercise really helps me with my arm strength and just my overall flexibility with my arm. Usually take the five pounder just to feel it, allow my arm to go all the way to the ground. Just come right back up to 90. Do about 10, 10 to 12, however I'm feeling. So now we got banded push-ups. Do about maybe 12 to 15. Just get after it, get a little resistance in there. So these are the forearm workouts that I do with my bat. I go forward, backwards, and I lift it up and go here. Just works on my forearm strength and my grip strength for when I'm swinging. They hurt too. Put this uh, 21 ounce weight on. You feel it for sure. You should try to keep this as flat as possible when I get there. I don't want to go below that 180 degree right there. All right, so now we got a uh, more like a, a lightweight stiff leg deadlift. Um, it's just gonna work on our quickness. Like you want to go up as fast as you can and down slow. Control the weight. Nothing crazy, just to kind of get the blood flowing. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so it's about 10.45 now. Just waiting to get on my Zoom call. You know, got the Zoom set up right there. Um, most of my classes are online. I'm only in person on Tuesdays, and then the rest of my classes are just on Zoom, or we just have online work to do. It, it's definitely, it's not difficult, but it's, it's very different. Um, it was a hard adjustment, but I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's just, you do your homework at this time, you know, you study in between baseball practices and lifts. And other than that, it, it's really, that's it. It's just, with online classes, you have to make sure you're on top of yourself. Uh, you have to be very responsible. You have to be very diligent in all the work that you do. And you can't really slack. So, I mean, I like it personally. Um, and yeah, so we got class at 11 and 6.30 tonight both online like I said before and, and yeah we're gonna get after it so I'll, uh, I'll check back in with you guys once we're done with class all right everyone we're back we're uh we just finished up our 11 o'clock class at accounting you know I'm an academic weapon it's not a big deal though uh, and we got practice now we got hitting at one then we got defense at three and then team lifts at five so we're gonna get a little footage in between. Not sure how much we can get of us actually practicing, but you know, you'll meet the guys. Um, you'll say what's up to them and just stuff like that. Maybe show you around the McCann Center a little bit. So, uh, see you guys out there. All right, guys. So we're here at the McCann Center. We got hitting at one, like I said. So, gonna get in there, get after it. Gonna get better today. Yeah, so we got uh, one of the freshmen rolling up now. Yo!
Yeah, we got Gino. We gotta wait for the boys. I'm making a vlog for the Ocean State. You wanna say what's up to him? That's good, boys. Yeah. You know, Stephen Booney is a freshman here. He's an infielder. Um, great player, you know. Great kid, all around athletic. You know, I wanna be like him one day. I'm telling, telling my kids that was LeBron James, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we gotta wait for, uh, for Reese and Gene. We gotta get them in this. Yeah, oh, what'd you get? You got something good? All right. Bro. All right, we going in the McCann Center now. It's like a day in the life kind of thing. You know what I mean? Oh, God. There we go, good save. It's a huge save. He's gotta press it, dude. He's gotta press it. All right, so this is like the little calf area. It's open. How are you today? Always gotta swipe in. Awesome, thank you. All right. So now we're going in. We got, got our new weight room in here. It's very legit. Let me see that little bag. What you got there? Oh yeah, yeah he's, he's getting his grub pub stuff. That's what we got now. Gotta get everything on the go. All right, so that's our weight room. Get after it in there. What we got in here? This is the turf area. Is there a hitting group right now? Uh, actually, there might be. Yeah. Yeah, there's another. How are you guys today? Now we got the batting cages in there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, guys, we're here with uh, Ben McNeil, transfer, grad student. How What's up, today? baby? Yeah, this is a uh, vlog for my Ocean State for the summer ball. Oh, you want to give him a word of advice if you have any? Keep grinding, everybody. Love and it. Just remember, every day you get better, your team gets better. Absolutely love it. Love the energy. Love the energy. Gentlemen, how are we? This is Matt Rabio here, a senior. I'm doing a vlog for my summer bowl. This is Danny. He's a transfer in from Radford. You guys have any words of advice for the young kids out there? Uh, take advantage of every opportunity you get. You never know when it might go away. I absolutely love that. Any it's words? just a game. Have fun with it. I love it. Green Beam, what's good, baby? I'm doing a vlog for my summer ball. We got uh, Ethan Farino here. He is a sophomore outfielder, absolute stud out of Long Island. Gotta love it. You got any words of advice or like any anything? Hey, what's going on? Out there? Who are we talking to? Just any anybody. You know, we got we got words of advice for the young oh, yeah. kids out there. Uh, don't take this opportunity for granted. Mm. Uh, you know, a lot of people take this stuff for granted to mm. play baseball, to play a game that you love. Mm. And I love you gotta it, push as hard as you can. I love it. Let me see the drip. Show me oh. the chain. The drip. I mean, I got nothing much. OD drip. D Dylan's we, got love drip we love it. We love it. Alright, so we got we got Reese Armadic here. He's a senior center fielder. I'm doing oh the vlog God. for my summer ball. So you have any words of advice for anybody out there? Go, go Mainers. Go Mainers. Oh no. Oh no. Gene, this is a senior catcher. I'm doing a vlog for my summer ball. So do you have any words of advice for the young kids out there? Any young bowlers? Uh, what do we got? Just keep grinding. I love it, Gene. Short but simple. Absolutely love it. Lefty again. Vibes out on the field today, electric. Love to see it. I love it. Yeah, so we're on the field right now. We're getting ready for a three o'clock practice. Boys, boys, say what's up to the camera real quick. I gotta do a vlog for uh, for my summer ball. You got any words of advice for the little kids out there? Stay in school. Love it, love it. What do you got? Try to throw as hard as humanly possible. I love it, I freaking love it. Nico, brother, you say what's up to the camera yet? This is for Summer Bowl. Oh, I gotta do a quick uh, a quick vlog for the day, like day in the life of okay. baseball players. What up, boys? This is my shortstop D. Yes, Hoy. sir, what's yes, sir. What do you got for the kids out there? What are, you tell, what are you gonna tell them? Just keep tracing your dreams, working hard, get after it every day. Absolutely love it, he's a stud, he's a stud. Yo, read this, bro. What's good? All right, we're here with Devin Boone again. 
freshie. Yeah. Known each other since we were like 13, not a big deal. Um, now nah, we're gonna go get some food before practice. We just had hitting. How are your swings? How are they feeling? Felt good. Felt good? Yeah, I mean, I felt good. So yeah, we're gonna go do that now. We'll check back in later. What's going on, guys? Just, uh, just finished up first day out here in the nice warm weather. You know, it's pretty good. Team looks solid. We're gonna be, we're gonna be nasty this year. Um, got a bunch of guys making good plays. Definitely tired. Probably took around like 400, 500 ground balls. Um, we're getting ready for our lift now. We got a lift at five, so we're gonna wait around for like a half hour, probably hydrate. What day is it today, Dale? What day is it? What day is it? Freaking eight, eight days till game day, baby. That's that's what day it is. Um, where am I? Where am I? I'm at uh, my Marist College, bro. Getting better. Getting better. Getting better every day. Boys are here after Paraki. Hey, Cap. Can I uh, can I get a quick uh, interview with you for the vlog? About what? Um, I just want to know how your day was and uh, if you have any information for the young kids out there playing baseball advice, that want to make it to our level. For the kids. Yeah, word of advice. Um, I, so I had a pretty tough day today in Popeye Communications. Uh, okay. It's a really important thing to remember for those youngins out there. The ball always finds its way to the middle of the field. Mm. So it's important to get your positioning to give yourself the best chance that's to catch that ball. That's a beautiful piece of info. Anything from you, Danny? You know, man, like I said earlier. Just oh, we're coming back. back. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, what it looks like, and now it's now. Mm, very true. That's it. That's right, very Danny, true. Driver. Sorry, Dan. I just had to get that out there. That, that's like true. the one thing I love tell it. everyone. Rob, you got anything with. for the kids at home? Yeah, All right, let's go, Rob. Look at this. Can you hold this? Just let them know the height difference. Don't get too close. So I'm going to the other way. Oh! There it is. You got social distance. Oh, yeah, we got social distance. Where are the kids? Work your butt off. Love it. Do what you have, we want to do. Love it. All right, we're back. Colin Mackle, center fielder, Once sophomore. Again. He wanted to say something for the kids. What, what advice do you have for the young kids what out there? What advice do I have? Have fun playing baseball. Have fun playing baseball. Mackle, I love the energy. Love the energy. My guy, Kenny, here. He's a freshman stud, two-way pitcher and outfielder. Any words for the kids um, who want to play baseball at the Division One level? Or just like, how, how would you feel today in practice? Just anything like that. Just give him some info. Uh, What's the rundown? What's for the anybody trying to get farm baseball, just always know there's somebody working harder than you. I love so, it. I love it. This wake man, up, do as much as you can. I love it. I love it. This guy's going to be a freaking, he's a prodigy. Get that dap in there. Dap of the day, bro. Dap okay. of the day. All right, bro. We have the calf. Urgy. Last one of the day. We got some chicken and rice. Got some fruit, some macaroni salad. After our lift. Clean. Yep. It's a post-lift meal right there. What do you All right, guys. So... Final video of the night. Uh, I just finished my night class. It's about like 8 o'clock now. I'm gassed. I'm not going to lie. I'm gassed. It was a long day on the field, you know. It was like 65 degrees out. Got a little warmth that hit us, thank God. Um, but I hope you guys liked the video. Um, just drop a comment below. Just give me your thoughts. If you liked it, you didn't like it. Things I could do better night next time. Um, and let me know if you guys want more of these. And uh, I'll keep them coming. All right, peace out, guys.